Alicia and I am here to show you how to do a market snapshot. So let's go down to designs. And from here we're going to create a new design. So you'll hit the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner and we're going to hit social and hit next. We're going to click on Buyer, Neighborhood Snaps. I'm going to go with a square. I want to post it on my social media. And so I'm going to go with, let's see, I'm going to go with this one. So hit Use. Now, if you've already uploaded your logos, you can click on the Keller Williams logo. This is just like a placeholder. You're going to go to RKW logo, hit the replace button, and switch it out. Then you can also move it around so that it is where you want it to be. Boom, right there looks good. Okay, so now we have this market snap portion we want to replace. So we're going to go to KWLS. Hit snapshots, put in postal code, and I'm gonna go with Tucker. So you put in the zip code that you want, and it's gonna give you the average list price, average sold price, what's active. So since I wanna replace this one here, I'm gonna click that. Oops, oops, undo. So I'm going to click on this. This is the one I want to replace. So I'm going to go here and hit replace image. And boom. Now it is replaced. So I'm going to change this house hunting in Tucker. Tucker. And there you go. So that is your market snap. It's already complete. Zip code has our logo. There you go. If you wanted to switch out the pictures, you can do all that. You can download it. Or you can post it right away. You can hit share. But let's say we're just going to download it. And then we're going to hit done. And let's say I want to schedule this post for tomorrow. So we're going to go to campaign. We're going to go to social post. I want to post this on Saturday, so I'm going to hit create a social post. I'm going to put looking for a home, home in Tucker, GA. me today. Then I'm going to, I can browse my design library. So I guess I really didn't even have to download it. I could just click on it here. Boom. So there it goes. It's all ready for the best placement. And then if I wanted to add more pictures, I could do that. I'm going to schedule it for 10 a.m. tomorrow, and it's going to post on my Facebook page. I can preview the post. That's what it's going to look like. And then I can schedule post. Schedule. And there you go. So you're all set. All right, so spend a few minutes, create a bunch of different ones. Go ahead and put them in your social media post and schedule for the week. All right.